Hi, my name is Stefan Esser. Do you or someone you love have prostate cancer? Then you need to hear this video and click on the link over here and read more. In 2005, Dean Ornish published a groundbreaking study titled Intensive Lifestyle Changes May Affect the Progression of Prostate Cancer. In this study, he took gentlemen with biopsy-proven prostate cancer and placed them either in a control group in which they were encouraged to follow a healthy lifestyle or they were placed in an experimental group, in which they were placed on Dean Ornish's specialized program, which includes a vegan diet with 10% of calories from fat, a serving a day of soy protein, 3 grams of fish oil per day, vitamin E, C, and selenium, moderate exercise at 30 minutes, 6 times a week, good stress management techniques which were taught to the individuals, along with support group that met one time per week. At the beginning and end of this study, they checked the PSA, or prostate-specific antigen, which is a sign of prostate growth, and in particular prostate cancer growth, in the bloodstream. They also checked other markers of disease. And after one year of being on Dean Ornish's program, they found that the group who adhered to his diet and lifestyle changes reduced their PSA by 4%. Meanwhile, in the control group that was eating uh, just overall a healthy program, their PSA increased by 6%. This is a difference of nearly 10% in a molecule which is a sign of prostate growth and dysfunction. Even more compelling to me as a scientist was the finding that they took the blood from the experimental group who were on the Dean Ornish program and squirted it onto prostate cancer cells. And they found that the blood of the gentleman on the Dean Ornish program inhibited the growth of cancer cells by up to 70%, while the group from the control, their blood only inhibited growth by around 9%. These are early findings, but certainly quite compelling in our efforts to prevent and potentially reverse a disease process that we have very limited armamentarium or very limited tools to address. So if you or someone you love struggling with prostate cancer or is even concerned about possible risk, then go over here, click on this link, and read a little bit more about this study. Get to know what you can do to have a healthy prostate and a healthy life. Thanks for joining me. Come back soon.